Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mike with the Benzo Gaming Channel. We're going to be installing Open 4 for your Grand Theft Auto 5. That way you can install different types of vehicles and textures and sound files. And if this video helps you in any way, guys, be sure to drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. Let's get started. We're going to be going to the OpenIV.com site. And uh, as of making this video, it is January 1st, 2020. It is OpenIV or Open 4 3.2. We're going to go ahead and download this. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to select this in English. And be sure to read the end user license agreement. Scroll down here. We're going to go ahead and accept this. Continue. And we want to go ahead and create a desktop uh, icon. Uh, the pathway is uh, irrelevant at this point, but we're going to go ahead and make sure that create a desktop icon is checked off. We're going to go ahead and continue. It's a 26 megabyte file. We're going to go ahead and reduce everything, get to our icon here. We're going to launch Open IV or Open 4. We're going to select this in Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. I'm going to go ahead and put the pathway for Steam and also desktop users on the screen for you right here. My particular file location is going to be in the G drive, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you can notice my pathway right here is on the G drive. Yours is probably going to be in the C drive. But if you have it on any other drive, make sure you follow that pathway. It's real important. We're going to select the folder and then select folder. Should get a green message right here saying successfully, uh, you know, for the GTA 5, it's, it's able to find the actual game file for be able to launch Grand Theft Auto 5. If it doesn't turn green or if it's in red or something like that, the folder is not selected properly. So make sure that you follow your actual Grand Theft Auto 5 install pathway and go with that. We're going to go to continue and then uh, don't worry about backing up your files right now. I'm going to show you what to do in just a moment. We're going to go ahead and continue. Okay. We're going to go ahead and say no thanks to that. We're going to go ahead and close out of open IV. I'm going to show you what to do next. What we want to do is open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 main game directory. Once again, mine's on the C, a G drive. Yours is probably going to be in the C drive or something like that. What you're going to do is create a mods folder. So you're going to, right click you're going to go to new go to folder and make sure you name it mods just like that and then this is real important here guys i got a lot of people that mess this part up what you want to do is left click on update and you're going to right click copy this entire folder you're going to go into your mods folder right here go in there it should be empty you're going to right click and you're going to paste this now it's really important to note that you must have enough uh, drive space uh, this is going to take a very long time guys so my advice is to get something to eat or, or drink or whatever you're going to do come back and actually it should be done by then hopefully so we're going to paste this i'm going to fast forward the video we're going to get to the next part okay now that the update file is copied over we're going to go ahead and exit out of that and then we're going to go ahead and fire up open four again we're going to go to Windows, and then what we want to do is go ahead and go to Edit Mode, and go ahead and click on Yes. Now it should give you like a little warning message, or at least tell you telling you that you need to install ASI Manager. So my advice is go ahead and go to Tools right here. Let me enlarge this. Tools. Go to ASI Manager, and go ahead and install the ASI Loader, Open 4.ASI, and then go ahead and install the Open Camera as well. We're going to click all three of these. We're going to close that out. Now your mods folder should look like this right here. So if you go to mods folder right here, it should be like a purple style color folder. If you double click that, if you go into update, and then if you go to time 64, and then if you go to DLC packs right here, it should have all of your DLCs right here. Okay. So, and you know, the making of the video is January 1st, 2020. They may already be on patch day 25 or 26 by the time you watch this video. So if your DLC is not there, then that means you did not copy over your entire update folder. You're trying to make shortcuts. And with uh, Open 4, you want to make sure you, you're able to copy the entire update folder so that way you can install the vehicles properly. So once again, this is mods. If you go to update, times 64, and then DLC packs, you should have all your DLCs. This is where all the vehicles are going to be installed 
down through here. And that's going to be for another video for vehicle installation, as well as weapons and sound files and those kinds of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If it helped you in any way in the slightest, make sure guys that you do go ahead and leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you're new guys. I greatly appreciate that. So stay tuned for some new additional tutorials to come. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.